Hello, and welcome to my Mario action figure collection video. Enjoy the video. Alright, so really quickly, I just want to show uh, the background we're going to be putting all the figures. Here we have uh, a set of the Popco Mario figures. Uh, then Toad Pez Dispenser, some of the pipes and other accessories, and the SH Figure Arts figures, uh, Peach's Castle from World of Nintendo, uh, more accessories, Super Mario 3D All Stars, because that is a cool game, and the Mario and Donkey Kong 2 pack from Walgreens. So we are going to be looking at um, all the figures one set at a time. So. Starting off, here are the SH Figure Arts figures, and uh, these are really excellent. The next ones we'll look at are from the Popco set. Um, the only other Popco figures I own are the ones that are in the box, that are shown in it for the background. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are all bootleg, actually. <laughs> uh, I mean, the Green Toad's face, he doesn't look too healthy. <laughs> World of Nintendo 4-inch Mario figures, and um, it's a very large collection. I don't have all of them, as there are quite a few like Mario variants I don't really care about, but here's my collection. Some of the standout figures in this, uh, definitely the Bowser and the Peach, Wario and Waluigi are excellent. The Bowser Jr. is also quite good. Um, this Donkey Kong figure it's actually a custom because his head was originally a lot bigger, uh, and this head is from the Popco figure. Oh yeah, and Diddy Kong is also here. Kind of forgot about him earlier. All right, so here are my fast food Mario toys. Um, don't ask why I have so many of the Mario Bros. Three, Luigi, and Mario figures from McDonald's. My favorite of these is definitely the Wendy's Mario. Uh, to the left over here, um, and just, just a really good figure, you can regar regardless of whether it's fast food toy or not. And I don't know if the Donkey Kong Pest Dispenser or some of the Mario candy holders in the back really count as fast food, but I uh, didn't know where else to put them. forgot about uh, Dry Bones too, and Boo, 2 inch or 2.5 inch Mario figures from World of Nintendo. Um, like the 4 inch, I don't have all of them, I just have I mean, I have quite a few of them, but um, some of the standouts for this line are definitely the Bowser in the back, and um, the Peach is solid as well, and uh, this is also the only official Dr. Mario figure, so that is a very cool little uh, tidbit. I hope that they'll make a 4-inch version of him, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so this next category is uh, kind of random. It's just figures that don't really know or classify them. Uh, starting out, there's this set right here um, that goes to like the cheap cheap or the, the small Bowser at the end. Uh, I think these are probably bootleg, but I'm not entirely sure because I, I got them quite a few years ago and I have not seen them for sale ever again. <laughs> um, I think kind of like uh, this Mario. Um, I've seen on um, different like variations of him like, st standing on top of a block or something like that, but I don't know, and their paint job isn't the best, so I think they'll probably be a leg, but the weird invert of Fire Mario is kind of weird, but uh, move on. there's that Goomba with the Mario hat, that one's fun. Uh, then in the back, there's the Toy Sight Cranky Kong. I don't have any of uh, the other Toy Sight figures um, for, uh, for Donkey Kong, but that's the one I have. Um, there's a Mario and Pink Yoshi figure, I'm not entirely sure where they're from, but yeah. And then over here, it's like some keychain gacha fun type things. The little Mario without his hat, um, the acorn squirrel, the spiny guy. Um, and also this Koopa Troopa figure, which I don't know exactly where it's from. And this uh, vintage Mario from the 80s. Here are a few extra of those kind of random figures. Forgot about them, so uh, sorry about that. Um, just Baby Mario, who I think was on top of a, uh, like a stylus for the DS. This little Fire Luigi keychain. Um, this small King K. Roll figure. 
um, it's Mario and Toda who are part of the set that might be bootleg, I was talking about earlier. A bunch of um, little Mario Kart figures. Um, these come from a variety of sources or places. Uh, some are like Gacha Pond stuff. Some are from the World of Nintendo line. And, uh, over here, there's a little uh, Mario Kart trophy um, that came with the four-inch World of Nintendo Metal Mario figure. But I think it goes nicely with these. Here are a bunch of the Popco uh, little Mario minifigures. I've had these for a long time and I don't have all of them. Yeah, these were popular during the like late 2000s and early 2010s. Yeah, I have a couple extras like Daisy and Yoshi and some of the ones look worse than the others because I've had them for a long time and uh, back when I didn't take good care of my Mario toys. Connects Mario figures. Um, there are a lot of these, and I don't have all of them. Um, these are just a few of the ones. These are just the ones that I do have. Some of the some of my favorites from the set are the Bowser and the uh, Luigi's Mansion Luigi, right over there. It's a um, really cool figure. Also, a golden bullet bill. Here are a few of the World of Nintendo Microland figures. Um, yeah, these are the ones that I have. Um, my favorite out of these is probably the Luigi, um, just because I think it looks really good. Mario's forehead's kind of large and Bowser's paint is kind of weird. This is my complete Mario action figure collection. Some of you may notice that uh, there are like some power-ups and things that I did not show off, but um, like the stars up there, but these are mostly just for display, not necessarily part of the figures, in my opinion. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, all those things. So, thanks for watching, and hope you have a great day. Bye.